So today's video, I'm going to be, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to be um, looking at some roller coasters and just a lot of uh, amusement park rides that have beacons or markers. We're going to be starting off with this one, which I've seen um, on Google Maps before because there's a link here. But um, I'm not going to spoil what beacon it has because I want you to see. As you can see, that is a dual strobe. Um, yeah, so that is uh, a dual strobe, and um, still, it still looks the same and stuff. But I do remember, um, I remember seeing a single strobe on here. Um, I seen the dual strobe and everything, and then um, I think it was a street view here. No, it wasn't. But um, here, watch the um. um there's a failed, um, I was showing this earlier, there's a failed screen recording, but, um, I'm going to let you guys see it. Alright, here's a failed, here's a blooper. Yeah, a dual strobe. Not very sure, um, where it came from. Or is that even a dual strobe? I don't remember. But I think it is. That, that may be a dual strobe, but, uh, I just get that certain angle again, so I can see it. It actually looks somewhat like a single strobe or an eight or an old school incandescent beacon. Um, yeah, kind of weird. I'm seeing it as a. It looks like a, a single strobe. That's what it looks like. But um, if I go to the link again, you can see, as you can see, it looks like a dual strobe. But there may be some bird on it because um. Because. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, that's a... Wait a second. And, um, my, my mom disturbed me while making this video, so, um... So, yeah, that, that's the reason why it, it... That's the reason why it was, it was failed. But, as you can see, I think I may have witnessed a tower that used to have a, um, red and white single stroke get replaced with a... Um, a, a, a dual strobe. I think that's uh, what the case was. I really have no idea. i never seen this before at day or night. Um, it would look... I don't know the name of the ride, but it does look like it has something to do with with, um, with Superman and stuff, so I'll try to see this at night. I'll try to search, a vi search up a video of this at night and see. But um, there's that. There's the first tower. It used to have a, what what looked like a single strobe, but now it has a dual strobe. It now may have an LED because because um, modern LEDs are taking over. All right, on to the next one. Huh? Oh, this is a this is the same tower, but it's a different link. But it looks like a okay. Never mind. I don't really know. It looks like um. Looks like I was sent three three links. Oh hey, look! I found this at night. So it used to have a white only single strobe on it. If that's the case, then why then why does it have a dual strobe? That is cursed. That is cursed. It's not. That's not supposed to happen. I have never heard of some white only single strobe getting replaced with a um a uh, a dual strobe which shines white and red. That's the weirdest thing ever. So um yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more pictures of this um, of that certain ride anymore. So let's move on real fast. Oh, I have to get through all these again. Uh oh. All right, back to the comment. All right, so we looked at that one tower. Now it's time for this next tower. That one may have um, either red strobes or dual strobes, but you're not able to see the white part of them. I don't know what's. I don't know, but I think um, since red since red strobes are are um, one of the rarest beacons I know of, 
they're probably uh, dual strobes. That's my guess. Um, let's look at this um, at an angle. Here, I'll get farther away from this. But, um, but maybe Anchor 10 sent me a picture of this with... Um, or that may be that those may be um those may be modern incandescents. I have no idea, but um Incor Tim may send me a picture of this at night. Cause I don't see any white on that on those beacons, so it must be some some um incandescent beacons or um red strobes or um halogen beacons, which are red as well. Which shine like which flash the same way as as incandescents. So yeah, let's see if he, uh, <coughs> oh wait, the Texas skyscraper, um, oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that this, um, that he actually, that, um, Anchor 10 actually, um, actually, um, um, told me what beacons it had. Um, the Superman Tower of Power used to have an FH-308, which is, uh, one that flashes white at day and night. That got replaced by an FH 324 AAK red and white dual strobe. I was right. I was right. Once I seen that picture of that one of that one beacon, I was sh still shining white. I was just like, "There is no way." So I came up with the conclusion that this used to have a um, single strobe and now has a dual strobe. That's the weirdest replacement I've ever heard of. It is cursed. It is so cursed. All right, the Texas skyscraper has two FH um, 324s at the top of the ride. I I can't even see the 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 white part of the strobes. I can only see the red. Um, let's look at it again. Those do not look like dual strobes. Those look like single red strobes or incandescents or something. No, single red strobes. I think. So I I was wrong about um the single strobe the red single strobes and the um, the incandescents. Looks like this one is also a dual strobe wielder. And I don't think um Anchor Ten sent me a picture of this at night. Oh, I don't think he sent me a picture of this at night. So um I gotta clear something. Uh, it's, it's already cleared. All right, so. He didn't send me a picture of this at night, I don't think. Nope, he didn't. Oh, okay. The oil derrick has markers at the top. Uh, has a top and on its side. Oh, hey, look. This is just the tower that, um, that I mistakenly pointed at while I'm looking at the this tower here. The one with the, which, with the weirdest beacon replacement. So there's markers on top there with markers on the side, as um, as I was informed. Um, of course, there's probably not going to be any pictures of this at night, or m maybe. Um, oh, hey, there's another picture. If you're if you're not able to see, there's some um, one marker, this the other, unless unless that they're somewhere else, but. Um, Let's look down. Oh, you're not able to see the side markers. Um, so, um, it doesn't look like there's anything else um, that will actually show the side markers. So, um, let's go on to this other link here. Oh, there it is. There's some markers there. Oh, there's the side markers. I have no idea if they if they flash or not. I really hope that the top ones do, but the bottom ones don't. Because um, having mark having once having markers on the uh, top of the tower with side markers as well um, it's not something that I'm used to, so um yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird. So there's that. That's all the links um of that tower. Now then, the former Texas kill. Well, I can't even pronounce anything. Turns out Paradise Ride, which was replaced by the Texas Skyscraper, did not have any beacons or markers, but did have a floodlight installed in the middle and at the top deck. Alright, let's see this. 
So, um, it sounds like this tower is sadly dead. Oh, hey, look, floodlights. That's nice. So that's what they look like. Floodlights on there. No beacons, no markers, sadly. There's another picture of this. Oh, wait, no, this is Street View. All right. So, um, looks like this tower is sadly dead. Here, I'll check, um, this other Street View here and see if it's gone. Uh, it's gone. It's dead. It was it was replaced with this one with the beacons. I had trouble figuring out what they were until I read what they had. So yeah, that was the former Texas. Um, yeah. Okay, Titan, the orange tallest roller coaster in the park, has markers at the top. All right, let's look at this. And looks this looks like a video as well. So Stan always said the mark. Oh, come on. I hate ads. Get out of here. Alright, let's see this. And, um, as we go to the, the one minute mark. Oh, hey, look, markers. I think the YS Aiden showed me this in, in, yesterday, in last night's meet, which you guys did not see because I, I'm not able to screen record anything while on a meet or anything. My phone prevents that from happening. But those, ah crap, I missed it again. But those are markers. Now let's go back to, um, let's go back to this here. So yeah, there's that. At Cinder Point, Cinder Point Space, space Spiral had an incandescent beacon on the top of the spire. Markers on the top um, and in the upper middle. The ride was demolished. No! You gotta be kidding me. How cool did it look? Ah, it was not that colorful, really. But if it had incandescent beacons, then it deserves to be around. But, um, it looks like it's dead. Doesn't that suck? Yeah, it, it sucks. And it had... It had a, an incandescent beacon and two sets of sight markers, I'm, I believe. He, I'm pretty sure that right back there has a crappy LED. I seen a picture of it, I think, unless if it's a right tower. So let's read this again. Cinder Point Space Spiral had an incandescent beacon on top of the spire. Of spire. So um, markers on top and in the upper middle ride was demolished. Uh, oh, here's the beacons at night. It just went to it just jumped to my video. All right, this here is a YouTube link. So let's see this. Um, well, crap! I don't even remember what time I was supposed to see this. Uh, maybe this here. I don't remember. But this. Oh wait, it's not going up. That thing's going down. Oh hey, look! I found it. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, let's see this. So it did have two sets of side markers. Oh uh, man, that sucks. That, that makes me miss this thing even more, even though i never seen it before. Man, how many of these are dead? Man, I hope the next one is still here. Power Tower used to have an FH-306. Ah, man. What a rare beacon. Uh-oh. Not again. Get out of here. Get out of your video. Ba now back to what I was doing. The power tower used to have an FH-306 on top with markers in the middle. Replaced by an FH-308. If I'm right, I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure the FH-308 is a, um, a, a, a red strobe. I don't remember, but the FH-306 is a... Um, a single strobe that shines white at day and red at night. It's it was made possible by a red cone inside the the beacon itself. So um Alright, it's a video. I got to stop at 112. So let's go. 112, 112, 112. Oh hey look, 111. It's this is right where it is. I think that was it. That may have been the tower. I'm not very sure, really. 
but there may be street views so I can so I can see which one is which. So um looks like it has more than one set of sign markers. Well no, I mean not sign markers, but I mean beacons, not markers. Um FH306s don't come with flashing sign markers. Thank God. Since they're not LEDs. Alright, what the markers are replaced by um 2012, we can see the FH-308, which replaced the FH-306. Alright, let's see this. Again. A different video. But I have no idea. I have no idea where I had to stop and look. Okay. I think I found what the, where the tower is. Is that it? They flashed just like... They flash just like modern incandescence if that one wide tower is it. I see a tower with a single strobe. Another with a single strobe. I really have no clue which is which, really. So, um... Hopefully your street view that he sent me... Oh, man. There is no street view. So, so that means that there must not be any street view of the tower itself. So um, I really have no idea which is which. I see I see I seen some wide tower with um, with more than one beacon because there's more than one flashing mark more 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 than one beacon on it. You can see the flash and stuff. So yeah, I really don't know which is which. Um, let's watch it again. See if I had the right tower. One twelve. Uh oh, my phone's crapping out on me. Wait a second. I found what. Okay, I think I know which which, which is which. I see some pinkish light, and FH three hundred sixes have a, a have a pinkish um, thing on it. So you're telling me that that um that red and white single strobe has been replaced by a white only single strobe? That's also weird. If I'm right, I think I found the right tower now. All right, so let's see this again. I I need to go back to where we. Uh, come on, the screen won't let me see anything. The this is annoying. Here, just just hold on a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Let's see this one more time, and then we'll move on. Oh man, that one other ride blocked it, but that is a single strobe. Okay, I miss I missed that beacon on my um my one flash technology beacon evolution thing. So, um, yeah, there's that. It's weird, it's weird how, um, both the first ride and the ride that we just looked at again used to have, um, red, be red and white beacons. I mean, used to, you, one used to have a white beacon, but that was been replaced by a, a red and white beacon. And then this one here used to have a red and white beacon that was replaced with a, um, with a, a single strobe, a white beacon, basically. So yeah, there's that. Um, t the top thrilled um dragster has an FH three hundred eight flashing at the top and left side. So these are more white only single strobes. Oh wait a second, I think I know what this one is. I think this one um why is Aiden show me? A great YouTube won't the the bar won't let. Oh, now it's letting me see it. All right, let's see this. Oh, they have a slow flash. It's even better than I thought. Even though I like the quicker flash better because it's more nostalgic. That's cool. Would be nice if there was a ride right next to it that had an incandescent beacon because then the both rides will have um they will have opposite beacons. So um. It would have been so nice, but nope. So, um, yeah. Let's move on to 
it's this other one. Foreigner Eruption had three FH309s, which are red red um, strobes on each three towers on top. The red was... Wait a second. Alright, well... Now I'm wondering. I, I know what this tower is, but I always believe that I had... um. Oh wait, I've been wrong. The FH three hundred nines are the slow, um, are the incandescent halogen beacons. I just realized that. But if you didn't know already, this ride is sadly no more. I think it was to make room for some other stupid ride. Hopefully, it had a beacon or something. If there is another ride there. Um, there's one time where I found the reason I already know about this some um, about these three towers' existence. The reason why is because I watched a John Boyock video, and some and somebody commented on one of his videos some about um, that was showcasing his one of these beacons here. He has one in his collection, but some guy said, "Oh, there's some right in um whatever this park is called again that had three of these, and there's three white towers, but it's sadly no more. They take it, they taken it down and stuff." And then one day I was just down here in Oklahoma, um, looking for towers. Since there, there's a, there's a t, there's a, a an entire TV tower farm behind this park. As you can see, that's uh, one of the candelabras down there and stuff. So I was around that area on Google Maps, looking at all those towers. And then I seen, um, I seen that tower, which in this street view is no more, sadly. So it didn't look like a ride replaced it. That sucks even more. So the tower's just the tower's dead, and it had one of the rarest beacons I know of. So yeah, there's that. I have no idea if there's a video of it on night at night. I really hope there is. I really do. Um, here's a here's an, here's something else. Another link. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. The top. Oh, man, it changed. Uh, I need to click on it and stuff. This is not what I wanted to see. I want to see the other picture where the top of the tower is. Uh, not showing me dates, or I mean years. Here, hold on. All right, so watch. This is going. This picture is literally going to change. Oh, hey, look! It didn't change. Let's click it. Ah, yes, I can see them clearly now. These towers must have been so small because you're able to see them really. They they look so big in this. I'm surprised how, why they look so big. I would imagine them looking small. So this ride must have been small. There's a tower farm behind it, filled with um, Oklahoma's TV towers. Too bad they had to be in Oklahoma because there's a possible chance that they may all be wrecked by a tornado one day. So I have no idea why this ride was removed, but it's pretty stupid because it had some really, really rare beacons. I, get, I think I can see some of the sign markers there. I don't think there's any sign markers there. Or maybe. So yeah, there's that. This is sad fate of a tower that I known of for a little bit. All right, so um, there's another link. Um. Oh hey, look, there's actually a video of them. I'm only able to see one though. One of the towers flashing at night. All right, get get the heck out of here. Rotate, rot whatever. Rotate whatever. Oh, I can see it. It sucks. How I'm not able to see the other two. That sucks. Oh. Hmm. The Walmart tower used to have one of these beacons, but it's been replaced by an LED. Sadly. A mysterious uh, red-only LED that me or um, that me and Wise Aiden don't even know of. So it looks like that's it. You can see one of them flash red at the, 
at the top looking up. All right, well, um, there's that. There is, um, sadly, no more. Uh, yeah, there, there's no more, sadly. But I am going to try to find some more real fast. Because I don't feel like ending this video yet. I'm preparing. I'm preparing to see an LED beacon replacement on the second lowest tower. Though, I don't know when it's going to happen. But I had to prepare. It's going to hurt so much. But I had to prepare for it. Better not have any sight markers. Flashing sight markers. Ah, oh, man. I don't want this beacon to go. It's my favorite beacon. I already know it's going to be replaced by a, a modern LED with flashing sight markers. That was a given. So, I have went up and beyond to try to find some more... Um, rides with beacons. I have found this, which looks um similar to the first tower that I showed you guys. It looks tall enough. It looks like a uh, over two hundred feet or something, and it also looks like some samurai just literally just um pulled out his sword for like a point point zero one seconds, and this tower is just like what did you do? And it just got sliced in half, like your average anime. Where where it got where some samurai doesn't even have to touch his sword and then the enemies just just literally cut in half, cut clean. This is so blurry. I can't even. Man, what? You know, I'm going to just. I'm going to see this. It's called Scream. So hopefully there is. Oh, there is nearby Street View. Okay. Oh hey look, wait a second. I've been here already. I showed this stuff. But this one tower that I'm trying to look for, I already know I did not I'm I did make sure that it was a different tower, so I didn't have to show you the the same stuff. Oh man, it's being blocked by a tree. And it does look small, so it may be beaconless. Well guys, I don't know. That may be beaconless. Um Hopefully not. Hopefully this, um, let's see what this is. Please be at night. Oh, never mind. There's one that I showed in the video. Those there, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they have beacons or not. Um, there is no more. Let's look at different six flags real fast. Okay, so I found this roller coaster here. It looks tall enough to have at least markers. Let's see if it's okay. Never mind. Okay, now I'm able to see it clearly. So, um, you know, I'm not really making any progress when it can when it comes to finding any more towers. I well, finding any more roller coasters and all of that with beacons or markers. So I am going to end the video, but before I do that, I just want to tell you um, the um, I already made a video of the weirdest markers in history. Well, guess what? Those markers have been dethroned. There, uh, yet, last night I've seen uh, um, why is Aiden show me um, a roller coaster with um, some custom markers that are made um, for that are made for the ride that he showed me. Well, um. The they look like LEDs and stuff, but he showed me a video of them at night, and they actually flashed white like a single strobe, exactly like a single strobe, the quick flash night mode. So yeah, where are some markers in history? Never seen any markers that shine white before, but that's the first ones I've ever seen. It's there's probably the only ones in the world because they're probably custom made from the actual park itself, or. Not the park itself, but some brand that made it for this ride. I have no idea, but this ride is not the one that has it, obviously. Since you're not even able to see anything on this. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, hey, Wire Tower. So I just wanted to point that out. Oh, hey, look, Monopole. Oh, wait a second. That one tower, that, that gray one, I mean, that green one. I think that one may be... The one with the single strobes, with the with the slower with the slower night mode.
So I'm already I already been here before during the video at one point. So yeah. But first off, I just want to see that tower. All right, here's the all famous ride that has more than one set of um um white I mean, yeah, white only single strobes. That may be one there. You see that platform? I don't know if you're able to see it or not. Okay, this may be the wrong tower. I don't know. Actually, I do remember the one that I seen in the video being yellowish, I think. This one's all this one's all green. So, it's maybe the wrong tower, maybe. Oh, hey, look, I I found something else that may have a beacon. May not. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's just a little mystery with that one. I don't know if this is the one that that I seen in the video or not, but uh, I I don't think so. I don't think it is. So um, yeah, let's go to this one real fast, and then I'll end the video. Uh, man, this the roller coaster that I just looked at earlier is blocking it a little bit. If I have to guess, that probably does have markers at least. I'm not very sure. So yeah. There's that. See you guys later. Bye.